Hey, hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well and I found you in a good mood. My name is Kieran Truss. I want to say welcome back to all my Cloud Scholars. And I want to want to do a special welcome to all those, if this is your first time here visiting Cloud Scholars, I appreciate you clicking on the link and I hope that I am able to provide you some really good resources in terms of uh, the information about Microsoft Labs. So uh, as I, I like to start off with defining exactly what we're talking about, which is what is Microsoft Labs? And this definition was pulled from Microsoft's website and let's go into it. So Microsoft Labs, which is a local administrative password solution, uh, provides management of local administrative account passwords for domain joined computers. Passwords are randomized and stored in Active Directory, protected by ACLs, which that stands for Access Control List, so only eligible users can read it and request its reset. So let's talk a little bit about the pros of, of the local administrative password solution. Number one, it's a free tool for Microsoft. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, two, it increases security. Three, it's easy to set up. And in four, it's for password management. So the second and fourth option that increase security and password management, uh, they kind of, they work hand in hand. Um, but let's talk and let's do a dive into really how it works. So in your environment, you're going to have your domain controller, right? And then you're also going to have your machine to communicate back to the domain controller. And that's how users are logging in. So when you're setting up your environment uh, and you're adding the machine to the domain, you have to log into that machine with the an administrator and a, and a password, a local administrator account. And then you connect it to the domain controller and then you're able to sign in with your domain account. Now, what happens is if your that PC loses its uh, connection to the domain controller, you're gonna have to log in with that administrator account so that this way you can join back into it. The problem with this whole setup with those local admin passwords is that those passwords normally do not change in many environments. And if they are changing, it's, you know, it really, if you have the right governance, you really should be changing those passwords at least every three months so that this way, you know, the passwords don't become stale. And one of the things that can happen is if you have an organization, which I've been in organizations where the password hasn't changed in over a year, two years, three years, guess what happens? In that time, you have turnover. And if someone leaves the organization, you know, in a bad state, let's just say they were terminated or they got into it with, you know, senior leadership, it does not matter about the case. There's tons of different scenarios I could bring up. The whole point is, they still have your password. And if they were to go in to work or they were to, you know, somehow come across one of those machines, log in on the administrator account, they can now cause havoc within your environment, especially if you have remote sites where all the users don't really know each other. Let's just say it's a medical practice. They walk in there. People are still thinking they're part of the place. It's not really being monitored. They go into that machine and then that's it. So laps really helps with eradicating those kind of situations. And what happens is with these passwords, they're all the same, but with laps, these passwords are now obsolete. We don't have to worry about them. What laps does is laps says, okay, I see the need that we're having. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, but I'm going to generate a specific password, a unique password to each computer. And as you can see in the screen, what we have here is each machine now has a different password that is unique to it. And that's the great thing about LAPS because you can make these changes and then you can also say when you want these passwords to be modified. So let's talk a little bit about LAPS components. So LAPS is consists of a fat client UI, a PowerShell module, and then a GPO editor templates. So the fat client UI is what's going to be installed on the domain controller, but then also you would have that fat client UI on, let's just say your help desk machines or service desk machines, and that's going to help them be able to receive um, those passwords. So they'll put in the computer name and then they'll be able to get the, the password for that specific machine, the local password. 
And then you also have the PowerShell module. So this is what you're going to be installing laps. You're going to have to update the admin password schema, but then you also have a bunch of other commands you're going to have to uh, put in place where you can say, okay, which OU you want the laps to work. So you would say, okay, let's, uh, let's configure it scope to the uh, virtual machines OU or your desktop OU or whatever you have within your environment. So that's exactly what you have for the PowerShell module and there's a bunch of different commands that you're going to be running there. Then there's the GPO editor templates. Now with this, you're using this to deploy to your environment. Uh, that GPO editor template also comes with an executable file so that this way that this can be pushed out to all those machines in your environment as well in order for that lap software to communicate back to the domain controller. Another thing that you're going to have within this GPO editor template is also how your passwords are configured. If you're going to have your passwords configured with just letters, if you have it with letters and numbers, if you have it with letters, numbers, and special characters, you have a multiple of options that you have there. But then you also are able to say with your passwords how long they're going to be active on the machines. You can say, hey, I want to change every 30 days so that now those local passwords that are there, when the next month comes around, is a different password. So our issue that we had previously where we have turnover and somebody who wants to come in and say, you know what, you disabled my AD account, but I still have the local password. They come on, they don't have access. So this is why I was talking about increasing security within your environment because LAPS provides us all that. So finally, let's talk a little bit about the system requirements. So you can see in the screen, that is the supported operating systems from Windows 2019, 2022, and you have Windows 7, 8, and all that other stuff. And then we have for Active Directory, for a required for the AD schema extension, you have to have a 2003 SP1 or later. And then you have your managed machines, you have your information there, and then your .NET Framework 4.0 and a PowerShell 2.0 or later in order for you to run those commands. So there you have it. That is a, a quick overview of what LAPS is. Um, I'm also going to put in the uh, description about how to configure LAPS. I have a video on that as well. So as always, I want to thank you for clicking on the link and spending the time here with me. Um, I hopefully that you found the information that I provided you beneficial. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Here at Cloud Scholars, our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.